Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If hi guys, hi guys, hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some tips to help build your confidence. This is 2022, okay? We need to have been been confident. But before we get into the video, I just want to let you know that no one is born perfect or confident. We all have to work on ourselves one way or another. And if you are, I'm, like if you're the exception, born perfect and confident, then that's awesome. But majority of self-assured people that you know that are confident have to work on their selves. People like Rihanna, Beyonce, Mer like they were not born that girl, okay? They had to become that girl, that confident girl. And so then being confident starts from small things like avoiding speaking poorly of yourself. Even if you're feeling your worst, I'm telling you, do not speak bad about yourself because it will, it will register in your subconscious mind and you will actually believe you are what you say. So only speak positive about yourself. Hype yourself up. Even if it's your worst day, tell yourself you are that girl and you are that girl. You don't talk bad about people, but you're talking bad about yourself to yourself. How will you like, how will you be better if you're talking bad about yourself? You need to hype yourself up. If you don't have anything good to say about yourself, then don't say anything. Just be nice to yourself. I hate hearing other people like people saying, oh my god, I'm so ugly. I hate Stop saying that, okay? You are beautiful. You are you. You are perfect. Tell yourself you are that girl and you will become that girl. The second tip I have for you is blocking negative remarks about yourself. Stop allowing people's negative comments about you get to you. So what other people think about you is not important. The most important thing is you and how you think about yourself. I remember some time, a long time ago when I was, you know, younger, like I was still in like primary school or so. And I followed my mom to one market in Lagos. And like when we were shopping in the market, you know all these traders that are trying to like make you buy stuff from them and whatnot they were just shouting that was very traumatizing for me that was like the worst experience i ever had till this day i don't like going to markets i mean i go but like i don't like going because of the way they were calling me Orobo. Orobo means fat. They were calling me fat. It was after that experience that I became self-conscious about my weight, about how fat I was, and I started wearing baggy clothes. I started to feel like there was something wrong with me being a bigger girl. And if I get any small remarks at that point about my weight, I would just break down. Like, I would just break down and start crying. After one crying session, I remember there was this woman that came to our house and um, she thought I was my mom's sister because I was fat. So I guess I looked older, whatever. She just thought I was my mom's sister and for me, I was so sad that I cried and cried. And then I had this conversation with my sister and she was like, she was just, you know, hyping me up, advising me, like making me, she was just there for me, I guess. And after that whole crying session and the conversation I had with her, I, I just had to ask myself, like, why am I letting these people have so much power over me? Why am I letting these people decide how I feel about myself? And from that day onward, I decided that I was a bad B, okay? I started dressing, I started to wear clothes that I like, clothes that fit me well, you know? And now, anybody that's trying to call me fat or whatever, it doesn't bother me. Because yes, I'm fat and what? 
yes i'm bigger mm -hmm. yes i might look older than my age so like why does it matter building confidence also has to do with um your insecurities if you have insecurity i mean we all have insecurities and the best thing to do with them is to work on them when i was very conscious about my body weight about being fat and stuff i was not just crying at home i did so many crazy diets i started working out i did so many things in the process of me trying to lose weight i started to love my body because i could not change it like anytime i went on diets and stuff i'd always gain the weight back like if i stop the diet i'll gain the weight back and i love food so much and i'm not gonna stop eating food bottom line what i'm trying to say about insecurities is you need to work on your insecurities if you cannot change it love it another thing that you need to work on is comparing yourself stop comparing yourself it is not worth it there is always going to be someone that has bigger boobs than you bigger butt smaller waist longer hair prettier like there's always going to be someone that is better or that has more of something and all that but you know what another person's beauty does not take away from yours and you are not in competition with anybody comparing yourself to others will only make you feel worse about yourself so why are you entertaining something that isn't serving you if it's the people that are following on instagram that are making you feel bad about yourself then it's as simple as unfollowing them and let's not forget social media is a compilation of people's best moments so you cannot compare people's best moments to your life okay they also have bad days but they are not posting about that on their social media if you made it this far into this video don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and comment down below if you have any more tips for the girls okay and thank you for watching till next time